Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Ben, welcome back if you are a current subscriber or you have watched other videos made by myself recently and you've just popped along to this video because you it shows up on your screen as the next video to play if you have auto play enabled that is or if you are a brand new viewer i will warm a warm welcome to you to my youtube channel i tend to make videos about drugs both prescription and illicit drugs I used to be an addict to heroin and crack and I used to smoke a lot of marijuana as well sometimes up to quarter ounce a day or two ounces a week depending on how much money I had at the time but this video is to say that I have reached six months without taking any crack aka free base cocaine I used to be extremely addicted to it all of my Old associates from Ilfracombe know how bad I was on the pipe, on the crack pipe, and now I'm living in Bude in Cornwall, which I don't particularly like, but it's a roof over my head and somewhere to sleep and some people to chat to, because they're not too bad people that live here, they just suffer from different mental illnesses, ranging from anxiety depression to autism and people can't even say many words the only words some of the residents can say are repetitive and they repeat what you say to them back sometimes if they say anything at all sometimes they just ignore you or appear to ignore you but just don't know what to say back i think i think that's the case anyway Anyway, I am celebrating that I am six months clean off crack and it will be six months and two weeks clean off heroin as well because I have been off heroin for two weeks longer than I have been off crack because I'm a, di a different drug addict to most drug addicts. Most heroin addicts prefer heroin over crack and I use heroin to calm down from the high and euphoria and heartbeat i.e racing heartbeat from doing free base cocaine this is one way of coming down from crack or even speed but it's by injecting or smoking heroin brown and darker other words to ask for heroin in the uk because it comes as a brown powder and you can get china white heroin in the united states of america i have seen some china white heroin before and done some and it is extremely strong but also extremely rare in the uk i've also tried fentanyl that shit really blows your head off it, it's just an awesome feeling when you do fentanyl, you're gouging out. It doesn't last as long as the effects of heroin, but it's a much stronger drug. I think it's about 30 times stronger than heroin. Our heroin I get around Ilfracombe when I was doing it and Biddeford when I was doing it there, it used to be very weak. It used to be bashed to fuck with all sorts of contaminants i don't even want to know what it was bashed with bashed just means laced with i.e the brown powder heroin was bulked up so it weighed more by adding ingredients that aren't that isn't heroin other ingredients which are, i'm not too sure what they add in but it's other powders that happen to be brown i've had heroin that burnt really red before and this heroin had fentanyl in it i've also had fentanyl on its own and i injected it about i don't know about half a milligram maybe a milligram maximum 0.75 milligrams so eh? and it made me so relaxed and so doped up it was unbelievable to be honest with you it was probably the best feeling i've had in my whole life when I pinned up some fentanyl 
and I can't get that drug anymore. I can't even get heroin, dark brown, or whatever you want to call it, scag, smack, whatever. I can't get that in Bude. Bude is a basically, it's a small town in North Cornwall, and there doesn't appear to me be too many drug addicts here. I haven't really had a look around Bude yet, but I've been to the Barge Cafe. It's, a, it's basically a barge, sits on the river, and it's a cafe. It's got tables in there, and very nice food, nice chips, nice bacon sarnies in there. When it's open, out of lockdown, of course, I will be going back there for a bacon sarnie and a cup of coffee. Can't wait for that time to happen. It'll be awesome. When I can go out again with the people of Wild Wolf, the place I live in, and it'll just be great again, like it was when I first moved in. But the manager of this place says I'm not allowed any more cider today. So I've got to go this night with no cider, which I'm not very happy about. It is, it is seriously, well, it's pissed me off quite badly and the the person who, st who says I can't have any more is just saying this so a member of staff doesn't have to go out and risk themselves getting COVID-19. But I am allowed to walk into the town centre to Lidl and purchase some on my own but it's about a mile and up a massive hill and if I get ID'd I'm stuffed because I don't have any ID any photographic ID I should say so I am a bit stuffed there I have actually been ID'd in co-op in Holdsbury a shop that I have now boycotted with my father and my mother won't go in the shop either now of them IDing me. I clearly don't look like I'm under 18. I look over 18. I look old enough to buy some alcohol, I would have thought. Look, my, look at my beard stubble there, and my goatee beard. And my hair is actually receding. You see it's receding? I'm definitely not 18. And it, this did annoy me a lot when it happened. I sorry, I'm just moving about because my legs are just beginning to ache standing up in that spot near the door. But I'll come over to the other side of the room now. That's how small my room is here. Three paces and I'm at the other side of the room. Two paces really. See the door in the background? That's how close it is to the door. It's not too bad though. It's, it's a cosy little room. It stays hot and it's actually too hot. Right now, it's swelteringly hot and it's quite humid outside today. So I'm going to have trouble sleeping tonight. Not just because I haven't got any cider. I've got four for a bottle of cider. At best, it's probably about a seventh of a bottle. Definitely not enough to get me any sleep tonight. And um, I did get a new vape yesterday, 88 vape, classic pen it is called. See, 88 vape there, filled up with black jack e liquid. Then it tastes of them old black jack sweets that you used to be able to get from sweet shops and things when I was a kid. And it brings back memories from when I was a kid. And I, I like the taste of black jack sweets. And, I like the taste of the Black Jack e-liquid also. If you have any requests that you would you want me to make a video on, please go ahead and let me know in the comment section below this video and or add me to Facebook if you wish and I'll accept your friend request. Just give me a message, say who you are and that you saw me on YouTube and I'll let you I'll approve your request straight away. Please give me a nice thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. The only thing I meant to say in this video that is that I am six months clean of free base cocaine, aka crack cocaine. And I'm doing well and I have no thoughts or desires to do crack ever again. 
and I don't think I'm going to be wasting any more money on it ever in my life because it is a, it is a slippery slope. I'll just end up doing heroin again if I get into crack. But I do want to smoke some weed, just a little bit of cannabis. I might be going to Holland with my mate called Matt, and it'll be good if I can go over there because they don't, they, they don't really take any action if you're caught with weed in in the, the Netherlands, just over the English Channel from from us in England, but it's the other side of the country to get to the English Channel from here, so we'll probably fly to Amsterdam, and this will be good for smoking weed, hash, bongs, pipes, joints, blunts, whatever you want, edibles, probably have loads of space cakes, get really spaced out. Good times, rock and roll boys. Cheers all, thank please. Like this video, give me a thumbs up please, if you like this video. Please comment below if you have any questions you want me to answer or you want any videos made. I'll do a video response to whatever you want, within reason of course. So have a nice day all. Thanks for watching and cheers for now. Bye.